वेरी वेलकम बैक टू ऑल माई फ्रेंड्स एंड लिस्नर्स वेलकम बैक टू सी द सोल योर चैनल द ट्रूथ लाइज विद इन नो एवरी टाइम आई पॉइंट आउट ओवर हियर आई एम ट्राइंग टू टेल यू दैट यू एक्चुअली एग्जिस्ट एज अ सोल एंड यू सिटिंग राइट एट द सेंटर ऑफ द फोर हेड नो वट इज हैपन इज इन माई लास्ट वीडियो ऑन सिलेबस इज समी एक्चुअली चैलेंज मी एंड आस्ट मी एंड टोल्ड मी दैट आई थिंक यू आर रॉन्ग वेन यू से द सोल सिट्स राइट एट द सेंटर ऑफ द फोर हेड Now in this video, I'm going to put it into three different parts. The first part is I'm going to take up a few things which is in the religious text. Now I'm going to portray those points which are there in the religious text, which actually point towards the soul. Second thing is we're going to use the power of visualization. That is the third eye. So how to activate the third eye or how to actually use the third eye to realize the self? That is the second part in this video. And the third part is how do you meditate on the third eye? the agya chakra so let's begin with the first part in which i'm going to talk to you about certain things which have been mentioned in certain scriptures so here on my phone i've got certain things which have been mentioned let's see so as per the authorized king james version it's mentioned over there quote and fear not them which kill the body but are not able to kill the soul so it says that the soul is immortal but rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell so destruction of the body we have heard about but what about destruction of the soul when in certain scriptures we understand that the soul is immortal so how can a non physical entity which is not made out of five elements be destroyed ever so this is a different destruction you cannot kill the mind but you can make the mind weaker or make the mind's will power which is so strong you can kill the will power of a person but not the person himself so let's go ahead so as stated that the soul not only continues to live after physical death of the human body but is in fact mortal immortal sorry heaven can be seen partly as a soul state of nearness to god and hell as a state of remoteness from god each state follows as a natural consequence of individual efforts or the lack thereof to develop spirituality now as per let's say sikhism in the religion of sikhism the atma or soul according to sikhism is an entity or spiritual spark or light exactly can you see over here see everything which i'm sharing you over here is something which i've learned through different religions and specially has been clarified by an organization known as brahma kumaris you can visit about the organization and get in details about everything by visiting www.pramakumaris.org if you are on an international platform if you are somebody who's out of india or if you're in india www.pramakumaris.com so let's go ahead so it says spiritual spark or light in our body because of which the body can sustain life you see the body can sustain life that means i'm talking to you right now over here these eyes are blinking my mouth is talking right now because i the soul i'm seated over here and then i'm controlling the complete body with the help of the brain you see so it's a metaphysical energy non physical energy coupled with this physical body that is beautiful this is known as nature actual nature so now let's go ahead on the departure of this entity from the body the body becomes lifeless as per sikhism no amount of manipulations to the body can make the person ma- make any physical actions the soul is the driver of the body so where can this driver be seated you see as per what i understand the driver has to be seated at the highest helm that means this is the highest point in the body this whole head so the soul has to be seated somewhere over here So the soul is the driver in the body it is the ruh or spirit or atma the presence of which makes the physical body alive sikhism let's go ahead with something else in hindu philosophy especially in the vedanta school of hinduism atman is the first principle the true self of an individual beyond the identification with phenomenon the essence of an individual in order to attain liberation moksha a human being must acquire self knowledge atma janana so the knowledge janana means knowledge of the soul so in this channel we're going to talk about and especially in this series we're going to talk about seek the soul because the soul is the truth 
soul is immortal something which is immortal is the truth which lasts forever so now as per the quran the holy book of islam uses two words to refer the soul ruhu spirit consciousness or soul and nafs which also translates as self ego psyche or soul okay now in jainism every living being from plant or bacterium to human as a soul and the concept forms the very basis of jainism according to jainism there is no beginning or end to the existence of soul immortal means you see there is no birthday and there is no death day right it is eternal in nature and changes its form until it attains liberation now in judaism what i understood is the soul was believed just a minute in judaism the soul was believed to be given by god to adam as mentioned in genesis then the lord god formed man of the dust of the ground and breath into his nostrils the breath of life and man became a living soul so here comes the second part you see in lot of uh, practices in hinduism let's say we see that we put a bindi over here or a small symbol like a dot over here and uh, this dot is a symbol of that i exist over here i'm point of light focus over here not onto my body as i had mentioned a couple of other my first initial videos so i'm seated over here and when we put a tika we put a tika like this all those people who are watching in international views you must have realized when you have traveled to india you see people putting a tika over here especially in uh, religious places and uh, women in india especially the old culture was to put a bindi over here as a symbol of beauty as a symbol of existence now when you check out the christian religion you see they put a cross over here why not over here why not here why not on the heart why over here it depicts that you are a christian soul it depicts that uh, when you put a bindi over that you are a hindu soul or the ancient soul of hinduism so in the buddhism also if you see gautam buddha you see a dot over a point away in most of his uh, most of his sculptures if you see they put a dot over here what is the symbol why over here is a symbol of light a point of light as you see over here supreme soul or supreme god father is also light god is light we say that in christianity in hinduism we call it as jyotir or jyoti prakash or light and noor e ilahi allah e noor in uh, the quran god is noor noor means light or brightness so soul is also light as we have just mentioned in sikhism it's a spark of light so now why are we putting this cross over here why are we putting a bindu over here and why the third eye is being shown over here like this as a symbol you see the eye over here is not this physical eye we can realize who we are as a physical being while looking at us in the mirror by these two physical eyes but to realize the self or to see the self the real self is only through the eye of visualization you see you can have an imagination in your life you can imagine things and we say that to achieve anything you should have an imagination can you imagine through these eyes or do you imagine through this eye see that is the eye of visualization or the eye of imagination so who's imagining you are physically present out here but who's imagining within there who's projecting that and when we say that the soul leaves the soul goes away the body is no more there so the soul is seated over here and it is controlling the complete body through the brain and all the 72000 neurons which are like electrical wires being run so soul is the generator brain brain is working as a transmitter of all the signals all over the body once the soul leaves the body is of no use so seated over here the soul is visualizing what it wants to do let's say my hand is up and the soul leaves his body the hand comes down so who's moving the mouth who's listening who's blinking the eyes is the soul and i'm able to do all these motor actions with the help of the brain so now the third eye in many scriptures is like a lifelong quest for many people to find out what exactly is the third eye let me tell you simply a way a third eye is you the soul who's in this body and making the body move if you the third eye leaves the body these two physical eyes also stop working 
Now there are certain things which actually I wanted to talk to you about regarding visualization too. And the most important thing which I wanted to talk to you about is that you see when we when we are thinking about the soul when we are listening and when we are thinking about the soul we are talking actually about an entity which is immortal you see in uh, in many scriptures we even talk about god as an immortal being and in hinduism we call him we call him as amar amar nath or the lord of immortality and we also call him as akal means kal means death akal means who doesn't die right and we also know something as akal takhat in sikhism takhat means the place where the akal or the immortal being resides exactly so akal takhat for god is something which we see beyond that where he resides or where he lives so supreme father is somewhere up there because that's why when we pray allah or akbar we say up here or we say hey bhagwan hey prabhu or god father hey supreme soul we look up there right because he actually lives up there now in the case of a human body the takhat or the takhat means the throne of the soul is over here this is where the soul resides and soul is akal means it doesn't doesn't die it's immortal so the akal takhat in the body of the soul not the supreme soul of the soul is right over here and that's why we put a cross over here we put a bindi over here we put all symbols we even say that our kismat kismat means our destiny is already written over here why don't we say that destiny is written over here or why don't we say that the destiny is written at the back over here right or on your feet or on your knees we say that destiny is written over here who is the one who's actually deciding destiny where do you visualize from you visualizing from here that's where your destiny is written over here and the third eye is mentioned over here so the soul is the third eye it's an immortal being so all those imagination pictures which you are visualizing can you actually touch them and feel them no right but everything which you are seeing from here is not an imaginary it's all right in front of you you can touch those things but that i which is visualizing from here right let's say the right brothers they created they created the aeroplane they were visualizing over here they were making everything in the mind but it did not exist early right so they were visualizing over here but could they touch that imagination no they can only materialize it in the future but everything which your two physical eyes are seeing over here is already existing right so this eye leads to materializing in front of these eyes so that's what i'm going to talk to you about over here that you are actually the third eye you are the soul you are the being now let's do a simple 50 15 seconds meditation or let's let's put it at 30 seconds meditation let's do it together and let's sit down over here and we're going to focus over here at the third eye and i'm going to say a few words sit straight sit comfortably over here and let's try to realize the spark is like within us within this body then let's go for an inner journey okay let's begin if you want you can close your eyes i keep my eyes open and you have to visualize yourself as a soul which is exactly like this a spark and energy right here at sitting at the center of the forehead let's go ahead Take a deep breath. I am an immortal being. Repeat with me in your own mind, not through your mouth. Just listen to my words and just repeat it in the form of visualization in your mind. I am an immortal being, a point of light, sitting at the center of my forehead. I am the controller of this body. all the five senses i am the sixth sense which controls this complete body i am beyond pain and suffering i can only feel pain and suffering when i am within this physical body i am a soul who experiences and expresses life through this body i am a, sp- a spark who experiences and expresses everything through this body i am a light sitting at the center of my forehead and controlling this body i am that sixth sense which when heightened or increased i actually can see everything which is going to happen i can sense everything which is going to happen i am someone who's immortal 
and I am the soul who is looking for complete immortality. I am a soul who is looking for liberation in life. I am a soul who is looking for connecting with God. Not the body, but I the soul looks forward to connecting with God. With a simple meditation, I hope you like it and you are going to share this with many other souls. Thank you so much. Leave your comments ahead under this video. Do like, do share and do subscribe. Thank you. See you again. Bye-bye.